So this is a frame that I saved from the scrapyard <clears throat> a couple months ago. And I've been trying to get someone to finish it off because even though it's a great frame, it does need work. This is a vintage scapine frame. As you can tell, it's pretty much all chrome and it has a broken rear dropout. Now, I talked to a few people who are frame builders, who are this or that. I go, bro, like, I'll give you the frame. I just didn't want to see it end up in a scrapyard. And I think I paid, I think I paid like five bucks for it, if that. I paid $10, but I got like a group of stuff. So this was part of the package deal. Um, I don't want to see it in the trash. I don't want to see it in, um, scrapyard that's not what I want for this particular frame because it is a really really nice frame now on that note this is uh, what that frame would look like if it was in better condition let's say uh, this is once again uh, scapine and I hope I'm saying that right uh, frame sets forks and frame built up with Campagnolo uh, group set this was a bike that I found at my local Swami. So because I have this one, um, there's really no point in me trying to fix the other one. And that's why I was trying to give it away to anyone who has the knowledge and time uh, to fix it. But, you know, everyone keeps telling me the same thing, that too much work for uh, that frame to be able to save it. I don't know. I don't know how much work is involved to save the other frame, but for right now, uh, I'm gonna save it and see if I don't use it. But uh, back to this fully built one. Let's go ahead and start at the cranks with uh, Campagnolo cranks with uh, look pedals. I got a Campagnolo front derailleur, Campagnolo rear derailleur. I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven speed freewheel. Not a set, it is a freewheel on Campagnolo hubs laced to uh, let me see if I can focus on that. They are Lambda Strata uh, hoops, also have the, camp, the Campagnolo sticker on them, so not sure if it's made from them or not. Uh, it's got some nice Campagnolo brake, brake calipers, it's got the <laughs> inscribed uh, name right here which is pretty cool Campagnolo fluted or whatever you call that arrow seat post topped up with uh, Veta SL Italia seat no bottle cages yet I'll fix that later on there's a Campagnolo um, sticker on it it's got the Campagnolo down tube shifters and this one is uh, not friction but it's you can hear it which is kind of cool um, not many Campagnolo down shifters have that or this is the first one I've seen that I've come like, like that I've had so this is a big deal for me uh, it has Campagnolo um, headset uh, Sanelli bars see right there Sanelli bars and stem it's got this really cool red and black uh, rib tape, which I think kind of goes with the bike, so I might leave it, but um, I don't know. It's got the white hoods with the Campagnolo um, levers, matching front caliper, and then uh, matching front hub and wheel. The worst part for me is I didn't want new projects. I didn't want new things to worry about. But, you know, I always say this, like, I'm a sucker for good bikes at a good price. And uh, this is this was one of them where I just couldn't say no. Uh, it does add to my budget. I'm sorry. It does add to my project list. Even though this was just needs uh, tires and a cleanup. But... As you guys know, I have tons of projects already, so I'm kind of kicking myself in the butt for getting it, but at the same time, it's an awesome bike, and uh, it deserves to be uh, restored and ridden and 
hopefully I can make that happen for this particular project. Yaksha Cycles, out.